Hi, my name is Alex Linde, and I'm a solutions engineer at CyberArk, specializing in our identity solutions. Today, we're going to be talking about our workforce password management solution. This allows your business users to store their business credentials within our very easy to use web interface and retrieve them securely, as well as share them with other users. As you can see, our interface for logging in is very customizable. You can put on your own background image, your own login image, and really make it feel like home for your users. Additionally, if you do not have an identity provider, we can provide you one as part of the package. Your users can log in, put in their password, choose some sort of MFA factor to prove their identity, and they can be in the portal. However, if you already have an identity provider, then we can simply integrate with your identity provider and your users will be able to log in without having to learn a whole new set of passwords, usernames, or MFA factors. In this case, I am already logged in to my mobile application, so I'm going to use my very simple one-step QR authenticator to scan the QR code on my screen, and this will authenticate me into the solution. Because I've already authenticated using multiple factors into my mobile app, this is a secure and yet keywordless and passwordless way to grant entry into the Business Password Manager. And now Mike has been logged in to his user interface, where immediately he has access to the business applications that were assigned to him. And for example, you can see he was assigned a username and password app for FedEx, where he can see the username and password, and he can connect to this application. But he's also been assigned another application called eBay, where he has the ability to connect to eBay, but he cannot see the credentials. So when an administrator shares a web application with a user, that person can decide whether or not to allow the user to see the credentials or not. So in this case, if Mike were to leave the organization because he had access to the FedEx credentials, it would be a good idea to change those credentials. However, the administrator doesn't have to change the eBay credentials because Mike only has the ability to use them but he doesn't have the ability to actually see them. In addition to the business apps that Mike was assigned, he's also been assigned some CyberArk specific applications, and he was able to add his own applications into a tab that he created by pressing this plus button. This created a new tab, he called it My Apps, and then he was able to add his LinkedIn application to it. If he wants to move any applications into his tab, he can either go into the application and add a tag. In this case, he added the tag for my apps. Or he can just take an application, like let's take Box, for example, and he can drag it to my apps. And this has been added in. And if we look at it, you can see it also has been given the tag my apps. And if we want to take it out, we can just simply remove that tag. And then that application disappears. Now, if Mike wants to add some applications that are not here, there are a couple of ways to do this. He can click the Add Apps button, and then he can search for whatever application that he wants to. In this case, for example, let's say he wants to add Concur. He would just click Add App, Yes, and then the application has been added. In this time, he can go ahead and specify his credentials and click Save. And that's really all it takes. If he wants to organize this himself, as I mentioned before, he can just simply drag it into his My Apps and then shows up over here. Another way that Mike can add applications of his own is he can simply log into them. So for example, he can go to CDW and log into the application. And during the process of logging in, our CyberArk browser extension identifies that a login process has occurred and will offer to add this account to Mike's portal. And you see this happening over here on the upper right of the screen. We can select the name of the account, click yes, and then the credentials get saved. And now let's go ahead and sign out. And we can see under the all applications that this app has been added. We can again put it into our apps. 
and here it is nicely organized. Now, if we want to be able to take a look at this, we can see that since we added the app ourselves, we can see our username and password, and we can view it if we hit this button right here. We can also copy it without having to view it as well. Now that we've added the account, there are several ways for the user to connect to it. The simplest way is they can just simply go into the website, go into the sign-in page, and then there's a little button over here that allows us to select the account and this will automatically fill in the form and log us in. Another way is to click the button inside the user's portal. A third way is to click the button that shows up in our browser extension. Or the user can connect through the mobile app by clicking the button that shows up here. And in this case, they will connect through their integrated uh, browser that's in the mobile app. In this case, we'll use the browser extension. This will take us to the site. It will automatically populate the credentials and log us in. Now, what happens if we want to change a password to an account that we already have, such as this LinkedIn account? Well, we can go to LinkedIn's change password field, and we have an integrated password generator that also identifies if there is a field to change a password. We can click this button, choose the account, and fill in that password automatically. Click the button in the new password field, and we can use our integrated password manager to automatically fill in that password and create a strong password to replace the one that we already have. When we click Save, it saves the password within LinkedIn, and we also have the option to update that entry within CyberArk Identity to keep them in sync. If you'd like to manually generate a strong password, you can also go to our browser extension, and we have a password generator that lives here. You can configure the password length, whether or not it requires uppercase, lowercase numbers, and symbols, and it will tell you how strong that password is. You can generate as many as you like, and you can use this button to copy it, and then you can paste it into your form if you prefer to do it manually. Now, a commonly asked feature for business password management is the ability for users to share these web application passwords with each other. And we can do that from one user to another. So for example, user Alex Linde is logged in over here and has access to the Home Depot app. He can go to his sharing tab and add some folks to share this with. Now he can add an Active Directory security group if we're integrated with your Active Directory. He can add a role if you're using our role structure, which is similar to Active Directory security groups. Or he can add an individual, in this case, Mike. My Alex can also specify whether Mike will have the ability to view the password, edit it, or do none of the above. In this case, we'll give him the ability to edit it. And Perhaps Mike is a contractor, or maybe just he doesn't need access for longer than a certain period of time. So in line with CyberArk's least privilege model, we're able to select a start date, such as today, and we're able to select an end time, maybe two weeks, and give Mike access to this account for only that period of time. Switching back to Mike's portal, if we go into all the applications that are available, you can see that Mike now has... Home Depot showed up, and you can see that it was shared by Alex Linde, and it's valid until the 18th. Now, because Alex shared the ability to see the credentials, we also have the user identity section at the bottom, and then we can see the actual username, and we can view the password if we want to, and it looks like it's not quite strong enough, so we'll probably ask Alex to change it later. In addition to being able to secure web application passwords, we also have a section called Secure Items that allows you to secure other things. For example, if in your organization you have some software licenses that are shared across a team, you can simply add a secured item setting in here, put in some notes, give it a name, upload a logo if you want it to look pretty, and then you can upload a set of key value pairs that you define yourself as a custom field where, for example, if you have the 2022.01 version of Camtasia, you get this license. If you have the 2020.10, you can use this license key, and so on and so forth. You can really store pretty much anything that you want in here. Another common use case is your guest Wi-Fi network password. 
Maybe you just don't want to forget that. So we're going to create a section for it and you can store those accounts in here uh, and we can remember your 2.4 and your five. If you have uh, legacy applications, you can also store their credentials in here. We can encrypt those credentials if you'd like so that they're hidden in view. Um, and then we can see them if needed, or the users can actually just press the copy button and copy those credentials without actually seeing them and exposing them to the display. And if you have other passwords, for example, if you're using certain files to contain tax forms and things like that, we can store your encryption password for those. And then those can be shared from one user to another in exactly the same way that we did earlier. So here I'm logged in as Mike. Now I can search for Alex and I can select him and I say I want him to be able to get access to this. And perhaps for this one, I want him to have indefinite access because this is an internal document. So I'm just going to go ahead and give him access. And switching to Alex's portal and going to his secured items, I will reload my rights. And here it has shown up and I can go over here and grab that password so I can unlock some of these sensitive tax files. And this concludes the presentation on workforce password management. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please reach out to myself or anyone else on the identity security team at CyberArk and we'd be more than happy to help you out. Thank you.